go ahead and have a seat. Um, I'm Specialist Deontay Chapel, and I was the first DOD service member to test positive for COVID-19. I was on the way to the hospital in the ambulance. Probably we just got on the road maybe an hour or so. I guess a article came out or something on CNN. I forgot which one my mother said she's seen. Um, General Abrams, Barbara Starr from CNN on testing. Yeah, my mom immediately knew it was me. She called me on the way and she's like, son, you have it. I'm like, I couldn't, you know, I'm wearing a face mask and everything um, in the back of the ambulance, so I couldn't lie and say I didn't have it, but I'm just like, how did you, you know, like it's so many 23 year old soldiers in Camp Carroll, but I guess a mother's intuition just struck in her. Um, so yeah, I just told her, she knows the way I am, um, but with me keeping my composure, it kept her, uh, her spirits high and how I was handling it. That's all we're trained from the first day we joined is resiliency from all the MRT courses you take annually. Uh, so yeah, it definitely prepped me to just keep level-headed and not think worst case scenario. I didn't let like what was going on in the media make me think the worst. I knew myself and I've, I've been in some pretty scary situations where I've been in the hospital feeling like, <laughs> you know, the, the worst, but this wasn't that time. It was scary, for sure. Um, finding out my wife and daughter had it together, it was, I felt like I'm the reason they 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 were the ones to get it. Um, and we still don't know if that's the case, um, but it did kind of uh, bring me down a little bit, just knowing that that could have possibly been it. So I felt like I didn't do my part to keep them safe uh, in a way. Not that I wasn't being uh, practicing the proper procedures around them, but I exposed, I felt like I exposed them to it, which in my mind, I felt like I was harming my own family. It was, it was something that triggered in me that did have me uh, worried and scared. And I wouldn't say I lost hope, but at the same time, um, I don't know if you were aware, but I was getting so many conflicting results. Like I was positive one day, negative the next. So I kind of was just on the fence of, you know, until I get the news, I'm just assume I will forever have it. And so when I when I finally got that text message and I think call, I think I, it first came in as a text um, that you got your second consecutive negative and you'll be getting cleared. It was definitely that relief, like, finally, you know, not even, like, knowing that I would be uh, no longer in quarantine, but just, like, I didn't have to get nothing stuck on my nose. I think that was the best thing. And the first thing I asked was, all right, do I need to get tested anymore? Like, will I get tested in the future? Because I lost count how many times I got tested. But yeah, it was it was definitely a relief. Um, I think the first thing I wanted to do, which uh, <laughs> it's a funny story, because like the day I went in to get tested, all I wanted was some shrimp tacos from El Guerrero, and that's the first thing I did once I left home. <laughs> once I was clear from home, was go get some shrimp tacos from El Guerrero. So the leadership gave the best support I could ever, you know, receive. I think in this situation, like. Everything was genuine, you know, like, um, if you know me, I'm, I'm someone, I don't ask for much and I don't care to get something or ever need someone else's help. But they, they made sure if I did need it, you know, it, it was extended. Um, it definitely made my family feel like the Army truly cared about us and not just myself. Ever since we stepped into the hospital, we had the medical staff, my unit, um, people that was close to me, you know, sending my daughter toys. Uh, I think our hospital room got flooded with toys <laughs> for my daughter, and it definitely let me know that the people I work with are in my corner at all times, no matter what the situation is. You know, never think like me <laughs> for a situation that it can't happen to you. Um, you know, I don't think, as right now, they know anyone is exempt from it. Take it serious and take your health serious. 
because that's one thing I didn't do before this situation and it was a complete eye-opener to me.